Hey guys, Mama Circus here. Welcome back to another cleaning video. Let me tell you, I am so happy to be back. It has been a long while since I have posted a cleaning video and I am just so thrilled to be back on track again and getting back to my schedule. Everything has been all over the place the past few months. So my YouTube career has been kind of on the back burner, but that is no more, honey. We are going to be working and working hard and you're gonna see a lot more content from me and I am so thrilled about it. So if you are here and you are watching, thank you, I appreciate it. Please be sure to give this video a like and also I would love it if you would also subscribe and hit that notification bell. You putting away dishes? No, no, no. Look, look. Ah. Mommy. This broke. Good job. Go put those away. No, no, no. Good girl. Good job, Jolene. So here I am doing a nighttime cleanup. Summertime has been so busy and I have been trying to enjoy it the most that I can with my children. So therefore I have been doing a lot of my cleaning at nighttime, which honestly is just fine with me. As long as I am keeping up on it, that is what is most important because I hate having a messy, dirty home but I also love to have fun and be spending quality time with my kids. So I'm trying my best to balance it. And I thought it would be good for you guys to have some more insight into my life. So I'm also gonna try to add some vlog style videos. And you will also hear little clips here and there of my house and how it really is. Because I feel like sometimes these videos are just so polished and everything looks perfect. Like la la la, we're just carrying on with our cleaning and everything's quiet and perfect when that is not life, okay? So yeah, be prepared for a little bit of chaos mixed with a little bit of fun. In this video, I am also trying out a few new products that I recently snagged from the Dollar General. I just thought it would be cool to show you guys how these products work and my take on them because I have used it all, honey. I've used the name brand, I've used some of the organic stuff, and I've used the Dollar Tree stuff. So I think I have a good, you know, say when it comes to the expertise here. And let me tell you, this awesome floor cleaner is what it, exactly as the name states it is awesome what? i bought this and i got that whole big thing for like a dollar 25 and i absolutely love it i think it works just as good as the fabuloso it may not be as strong of a scent but it still smells really good and they do have a good variety of scents like i said i got that from my dollar store in the dollar section and it is a good amount and it has lasted me about two months so far and i mop i feel like pretty frequently Another product I picked up was the Ultra Dish Spray. This is comparable to the Dawn Dish Spray. I absolutely love my Dawn Dish Spray. 
This one, I will say, is not as strong as the Dawn dish spray, but it does get the job done. I would actually buy it again because to me, it's good to have one that you don't really care about using all up on like little things. But I will say the Dawn dish spray is better. But like I said, I still would buy this one again. I think it is very comparable, probably the most comparable dish spray to Dawn for an off brand that I have tried so far. One thing that never lets me down is my glass cleaner. I absolutely love this stuff. I can link it below, but you can also find this at your local dollar store or Walmart. This spray is just amazing. I actually use it to clean my stainless steel appliances because I like that it doesn't leave the greasy film that stainless steel cleaner tends to leave. It just leaves everything sparkling, shining, and streak free. And I'm telling you, it is better than Windex and it is better than any like window cleaner that I have ever used. It is top notch, number one, and so far I have not found anything to replace it. Here I'm using a can of Zep Furniture Spray. I actually picked this up at an outlet store near me. It's called Bailey's. I got it for $1.99 and I thought, you know, Zep is a pretty good name brand. So I decided to check out this furniture polish and I actually really like it. I'll link this one down below as well because some furniture polishes leave like, I don't know, a greasy feel and this one just leaves it clean and polished and it also smells really nice. So yeah, I would buy this again. I actually wish I would have splurged and bought more cans because I had found it for only $1.99, which was like a steal of a deal. Another thing I got at the dollar store was this carpet and room refresher powder. This stuff is so handy because it really does help refresh your carpets. At least for me, it does. My kitchen rugs are a little lighter color. So when I don't feel like washing them, it kind of gives them like a little bit of a freshening up. If you understand what I mean, like it makes them just look a little brighter, a little more clean when life is busy and I haven't had time to wash them. So yeah, I do love the carpet refresher stuff. Um, I like to buy it from the dollar store just because it's cheap and 
and it always smells really good but you can use baking soda which does the same thing some people don't like using this stuff because they think it's bad on your vacuum but i only use it like maybe once every week or every other week so it's really not that often and yeah i think this product is great i would highly recommend it great job for the dollar tree on this one or i mean dollar general at a, only a dollar 25. So my sweet baby girl Jolene is about to turn two years old and she is quite the artist. She drew on that white panel there that I am mopping with pen and I have been trying to get it out. I did use magic eraser and it got most of it out. But yeah, I just feel like every time I mop, I just try to hit that wall and it is lifting more and more. It is almost out. And yeah, I also use my mop underneath the coffee table there. That is just another quick handy way to just clean up under there without breaking my back. All right, so far everything is looking good and I just wanna stop for a moment and say thank you for watching if you are still here. I really appreciate your support. I tried to make this video as short as possible because I know we all have busy lives and not everybody has time to watch a three hour cleaning video. So I really try to do my best to reduce it down but was still giving you good content. So I hope that you are happy with the video that I have provided with you. If so, please give me a like, comment down below any cleaning tips you have or products that you recommend. I am always dying to try new things. I just love trying new things when it comes to cleaning products or food or places to visit. Yeah. So anyways, just comment down something below if you have a helpful tip or hint, especially when it comes to removing ink pen from dressers, because I also have that to remove as well. And the magic eraser is not working, you guys. While I'm cleaning the bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about what has been going on with my health lately. I recently found out that I have severe sleep apnea and I have been trying to find the right mask and the right fit and all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Um, I really should just make a whole video on it because there is so much to cover when it comes to that. But yeah, that is one of the setbacks I've had here. So I'm really trying to get my life in order. And so we don't have that, you know, setback anymore. I really do not like being, you know, on schedule with things. I'm really disappointed that I've been not doing my videos like it really is depressing. I miss doing my videos so much and I'm just so mad that I've let this lack of sleep and, you know, exhaustion just tear me away from the things that I love doing most, but no more because I'm going to tackle this and I'm going to get through it and hopefully I'll have the support of all of you as well. So I used my awesome cleaner with bleach on my kitchen counters and I also used it 
in the bathroom as well that stuff is amazing i love it especially because the bleach is not too overpowering but it also just cleans really good i'm telling you all the awesome products are so like they are under hyped especially for only a dollar 25 i swear i'm kind of glad that people aren't over hyping hyping them because i'm like afraid they'll go up in price those are like my secret treasures. I love the awesome products. And I had that little thing of awesome that I sprinkled into the toilet. That is like, um, I don't know, it's supposed to help, you know, get out stains. And, and the little beads are supposed to be kind of abrasive. So that's why I put that in the toilet. And it did clean my toilet like the best any product has so far so i would highly recommend that if you need to go back and take a look at it i'll try my best to find it on amazon and link it down below but that stuff is amazing i heard that you can also put it in your laundry to help brighten up whites and stuff like that so it is multi-purpose yeah so definitely do not sleep on the awesome products you guys they are literally awesome One of my pet peeves is when people clean their bathrooms or their toilets and they don't get down and around the sides of the toilet and like the trim. Oh, it is so gross. Trust me. I don't do mine every single time that I clean, but I do try to do it every time, like once in a while or every time I notice that it's dirty. You know what I mean? I just feel like you can really tell someone's level of cleanliness when you go to their home and you just look at around the bottom of their toilet and you can see whether or not they're like very clean people or not because usually in most clean households people do not skip that part. Mini garbage bags are a must. I'm telling you, I have girls. There's always sanitary products being thrown in the trash can. And there's nothing worse than your garbage can getting all that nasty stuff in it and getting all stinky. I'm telling you, save yourself a freaking headache and just get a nice little garbage bag that fits your can well. These are so cheap at the dollar store and they will last you forever. It comes with like so many in the box. All right, now I'm in my daughter Jolene's room. She is the one that is about to turn two. I am just tidying up her room the best I can. You know, I never get mad at having to clean her room up because that means she is playing with her toys and I am so happy and thankful for that. One of our iPads broke about a year ago and I have never fixed it and I don't plan on it because my kids have soared. Their imaginations are so much bigger and they just have so much more fun and they play so much more with their toys.
I really hope that I have given you guys some good insight on these products. I'm going to try to link as many as I can of them down below. And if you have any questions, just feel free to drop them down below in the comments. I looked and saw that this toy box of hers had cat hair on it. We recently got two kittens, so I just have to vacuum a little extra now. They love to like rub up on things like this. So yeah, I had to vacuum all sides of it. Anyways, it is all done and looking good. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I am so happy to be back again. Like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really, really want to grow this channel. It is a passion of mine, and I don't want to put it on the back burner anymore. With that being said, thank you guys, and I will see you in my next one.